Good morning and welcome to Food for Thought for Friday, the 15th of January, 2021. My name is Pastor Clint Lang from Hillside Community Church of 100 Mile House. Welcome to our daily devotional broadcast. Today we're going to be continuing our study in the book of James. Life is difficult to navigate. Especially when we're going through trouble, um, it seems as though there are so many different perspectives out there to listen to and so many paths to choose from. Um, Which pathway is right? How do we navigate successfully through and persevere through the trials that we're all going to inevitably face, all the while growing stronger and more stable through all of them in our faith? Now, when it comes to successful navigation, uh, the truth is that um, we can hope to make the right decisions or have the right attitudes without possessing God's wisdom, but having true wisdom from God means that we'll possess the ability to reach intelligent conclusions leading to sound decisions for abundant living. Now, the word wisdom itself implies um, sense and judgment which are far above average. And uh, there is a man in the Bible who exemplified righteous wisdom. Amongst the people of the earth in his day, there was no equal to him. The man I'm talking about is Job. Job understood the principles of wisdom. Although Job didn't really understand what was happening to him, if you recall the story, um, he was reverent before God. In Job 1.21, after God permitted Satan to destroy much of what Job had in his physical life, we hear Job cry out saying, he says, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. But we see that um, Job's wife didn't have the same perspective. She was enraged at Job's broken condition, and as she was angry with God. She told him, curse your God and die. And what did Job say to this remark made by his wife? He answered, you are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? Now during the midst of Job's most intense suffering, in Job 12:13, we see that he stated, to God belong wisdom and power counsel and understanding are his. You see, Job had come to the conclusion that so many of us need to come to in our lives. Solomon stated in Proverbs 9.10, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. You see, the starting point of wisdom is trusting that God knows what is best knowing that in his sovereign um, power that even when things don't seem to be going well on the surface level and they seem to be going out of control, God is still good and God still has us in the palm of his hand. The beginning of wisdom is actually having a reverence for God inwardly, acknowledging that uh, we need him and his influence in and over every area of our lives. In James chapter 1, starting with verses 5, reading to verse 8, it's written, If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must not be like one who doubts. Because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is double-minded and unstable in all that he does. So many times this particular passage has been taken out of context. Um, In context, James is telling the church in his letter that if you're suffering and, and you're going through trials because God is wanting you to mature and grow in your faith, not lacking anything, 
then he's calling us to persevere. And if we lack wisdom in understanding why we need to suffer to grow, then we should ask God for his wisdom. In asking for this wisdom, we're asking God to enlarge our perspective in how we view him so that we can, we can begin to see that he is in perfect control. He is not out of control. God is all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-present with us, no matter what circumstances we have to walk through. Now, coming to terms with this helps us to weather any kind of storm that comes our way, any storm that life can throw at us. Once we ask God to give us His wisdom in facing our life's dilemmas, we are called to be steadfast in our resolve not to doubt His character or His goodness. You see, we put our anchor down and we fasten it to the rock of our salvation and place our trust in our God and Savior to carry us through. Like Job, there, there may be times where we don't understand what is happening. And we're tempted to be double-minded about this. On one hand, to trust God. But God says, be single-minded. If we trust God like Job, who said, to God belong wisdom and power, and counsel, and understanding are His. God's wisdom, power, counsel, and understanding will be given to us. It's promised in His Word. You see, when James encourages the people of God to ask God for wisdom, he's actually encouraging them to ask God to help them see the truth for what it is and believe it. You see, when we truly come to know and believe God, revere Him, and take Him at His word, which is in the Bible, we'll find that our lives will be stable in the storms when they hit us, no matter how severe the blast. When we ask for God's wisdom, God will give it to us generously. James promises that when, that we will receive God's wisdom when we relinquish our controls to Him and we trust Him. We don't doubt. We look to God and we say, Lord, you know what is best. This is what I desire. This is what I want. But Lord, ultimately, I surrender to you. You know what's best. True wisdom starts when we truly place our trust in the revelation of who God is. And when we've reached the true wisdom from God, we're not going to be tossed about by every wind of teaching out there situational emotion that we face, thought or fear that comes our way. And, and this is why the world, when the world around us is knee-jerk reacting to every dramatic circumstance that falls on the face of the planet, the one who is anchored in the rock does not heed this emotional roller coaster which takes other people up and down and turns them in endless circles. The man or woman of God that is planted on God, who refuses to focus on the circumstances, rather chooses to place what to, in what God has revealed to them through his word and the truth of that. That person will be solid and steadfast. And when things come at them, they won't be like... Um, an unstable person who may ask God for his wisdom but then puts their mind away from God and turns it to life's circumstantial issues. And um, the man or woman who chooses to focus in on the shifting circumstances around them instead of on the truth that's given to us in God's word will find that although they ask God for his wisdom in navigating their life's troubles, they will not receive God's help because such an individual is double-minded and un unstable in, in all that they do. And James encourages people, don't, don't be this way. Rather, ask God for his wisdom in living and he will generously give it to you. This is Food for Thought.